So this is Mount Aragats, tallest mountain in Armenia. But you think uh, Ararat is probably taller, yeah? Ararat, if, if Ararat was inside Armenia, it would be taller, yeah, I think. It used to be Armenia's property. Exactly. Uh, yeah, but then the, when the Russian uh, give it to the Turkish. Yeah. Good morning. So this is the Armenian Genocide Memorial and Museum. I'm not going to go into a detail about uh, what happened here. I've mentioned it in previous videos, but uh, feel free to do your own uh, research. Today we're going on a day tour outside of Yerevan here, the uh, capital of Armenia. Nice uh, viewpoint here. We're going to uh, go into the museum. I'm not going to film inside the museum and then keep driving and uh, go up to Mount Aragats, the tallest mountain in Armenia, and also to Alphabet. I'm not exactly sure what that is, I forget, uh, but it looks really interesting from what I've seen and probably see some other sites as well. So it's going to be a, a very interesting day of exploring here in Armenia. Here we go. Edgar, can you say again, uh, the, what's the name? How, how do you say it? Hovanavank. Hovanavank. Cool. Uh, outside, canyon, big canyon. Dangerous, ah, okay. okay? I see. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you.
So this one is the Sagmo San, is that right? Sagmo Savank. Sagmo Savank. And this is Maria and Alfie. Hello. From the Philippines, but living in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. So it looks like they're getting ready for a wedding. So I'll just show the outside. The Monastery of Sagmo Savank, Monastery of the Psalms, 13th century. According to tradition, St. Gregory the Illuminator is credited with the conversion of Armenia to Christianity in 301 AD. Then he built a small church in the valley of the Kasag River. He named it Monastery of Psalms because of the singing of psalms which took place there. Nothing further is known about the monastery until the 13th century. Must be the same canyon, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Wow, it's intense. Yeah, so we must have been uh, down there before. Do you know what it is? This is the alphabet monument. But do you know what, like, what it's, what it's for? What um, this it was built in honor of the the, of of the, the Armenian who invented the al their alphabet. There we go. Oh, okay, their their alphabet. Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. And so it is all the letters of the Armenian written language, and I believe it was invented in like 400 A.D. So a few of them are similar to the uh, Latin alphabet. S, I'm sure it's not called S, an O, sort of a U. The fortress Amberd. Amberd was one of the most significant military bases of the Armenian kingdom. According to some sources, the castle and some of its battlements were constructed during the time of Kamsara Khans. In the 7th century, at the beginning of the 10th century, the palace, alongside with nearby buildings, belonged to the Palavuni powerhouse. In 1206 here, Baram Palavuni constructed a church firmed up the walls of the castle, raised three towers from the canyon of Arkashen River, captured and conquered by various uh, people there, it looks like.
So this is Mount Aragats. Tallest mountain in Armenia. But you think uh, Ararat is probably taller, yeah? Ararat, if, if Ararat was inside Armenia, it would be taller, yeah, I think. It used to be Armenia's property. Exactly. Uh, yeah, but then the, when the Russian uh, give it to the Turkish. Yeah. Around like World War One or before yeah, then or something like that. Yeah. RF. You brought your swimsuit? I'm sure it's nice and warm. Almost freezing, yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah, that is like ice, ice cold. Maybe it's almost the top there. It is almost freezing level temperatures outside now. A cross up on top there. So I'm not sure what this is here, but uh, I guess it is private property. Asked a guy there and he seemed to say, you can't go. So uh, I was curious to walk around here. I guess, uh, I don't know, military barracks or maybe it was a resort that's falling apart and abandoned. It almost looks like there might be like the top of a cable car over there. Wish I could walk around there, but uh, definitely don't want to take a chance at breaking private property rules in a foreign country. And I'm not sure, but that might be the top of Aragats unless it's over there. But a uh, little dusting of snow. Winter is on its way. Today is October 24th. And we're going to uh, turn around, drive back to Yerevan. It's been a great tour.